Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Vampire. Now, in the last episode, um, we headed up here into the North Docks. We're still tracking the actual vampire culprit of all these murders. And apparently our mother is now a pawn in this game, which I'm sure Reed absolutely loves. But when I exited the game um, after the last episode, it actually sent me all the way back here to this hideout. So um, instead of going through this again, I actually went through the normal docks and we are right outside of Pembroke Hospital because we have some new dialogue options from Lady Ashbury and Dr. Swansea. I figured we'd go ahead and get those out of the way. And I also kind of want to head up here to Whitechapel and see how Nurse Crane is doing. We got that awesome little postscript with uh, Sean Hampton and now we know kind of what he's doing. We never did that with Nurse Crane. So uh, let's go ahead and talk to Lady Ashbury here and see what happens tonight. It is good to see you again, Jonathan. How are you? I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashbury. Dr. Swansea has asked me to investigate the recent disturbances in the hospital caused by skulls. Really? What do you mean? I discovered the most intriguing skull, an elderly woman answering to the name of old Bridget, and a man who helps them remain hidden in London. Old Bridget? Peculiar name, I've never heard of her. Really? According to old Bridget, skulls can lead a peaceful existence like us. They are even able to nourish themselves by feeding on corpses and the flesh of the dead. How vile. Please, Jonathan, let's change the subject. Oh, come on now. Nope. We are in no uh, state to be squeamish. Skulls of London have gone into hiding. Both mortals and immortals plot their extermination. Yes. Skulls are the orphans of the vampire society. They are the shame of their genitors. A disgrace to the vampire that created them. There is something ominous closing around me, Lady Ashbury. Something spies upon me from the shadows. Something cruel and wicked. Whatever do you mean, Jonathan? If Sean Hampton and Harriet were not the guilty parties, then who? I saw the bodies and the blood. Your rebirth has not gone unnoticed, Jonathan. Be extremely careful. If you get in the way of an immortal's plans... Or Jonathan is an immortal's plan. Do you suspect someone? I don't know, Jonathan. I steer clear of vampire politics especially whilst hunters roam the city's streets. Good call. Goodbye for now, my lady. Now we'll have a chat with the doc. And I thought last summer's epidemic was different. And then we'll uh, go ahead and get back on track. Looks like everyone else is doing okay here. I would hope so, actually. We need to see... We are sanitized here at the at the hospital, thankfully. I'm actually curious what Dr. Swansea has to say about these skulls. Jonathan, at last. I've been worried sick. Have you solved the case of our poor Sean Hampton? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. Is that true? Oh, good news. Good news indeed. What do you know of the Ascalon Club? Uh, not as much as I would like. There have always been rumors about a secret society of vampires operating in the interests of the British Empire. Though I've never met a member. Do you think Lady Ashbury would know of them? Jonathan, our beloved lady is not one for social dalliances, nor the assemblies of dark orders. She's a woman of superior taste and selective acquaintance. 
Well then. I crossed paths with one. A terrifying creature going by the name of Fergal. He was sent by the Ascalon Club to exterminate the Skulls of the East End. By the stole, Jonathan. If vampires are eliminating their own progeny, then dark times are upon us. Darker than I've ever witnessed. He, he'd be one of those people who would love to just be the uh, kid with the ant farm, but all the ant farm would be like vampires. Does the name Old Bridget ring any bells? I'd never heard of her. Why? A patient of ours? I must confess, I don't know them all. No, it's just someone I recently met. A fascinating woman. I had thought that perhaps... By the stole, Jonathan, you've met another vampire. I would appreciate an introduction, if that's the case. See what I mean? I found Harriet Jones. She's much the same old, embittered woman she was, only she's been made a scowl. Her transformation did not go well. Incredible. Why not bring her here? We could learn so much by studying her condition. It would be fascinating. I doubt that. She can barely move. Perhaps we could learn more about the degeneration of Skulls. Perhaps. But she could also belong to a new species. We know so little of the laws that dictate vampire reproduction. Were there any studies made by your order on the subject? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I will transmit your discovery to the Brotherhood's primate. He will be delighted. Oh, I bet he will. A pleasure as always, Edgar. Alright. Well, now that that is out of the way... Now, unfortunately, we did lose the XP from killing all of those guys in the northern docks. Which is a shame, because XP is very important to us, considering how we're tending to play this game. But, let's go ahead and keep on keeping on. And I think on the way I found a shortcut to the northern docks that shouldn't take us too far out of the way. Let's go ahead and see if I'm actually correct in that. Because it looks like we can actually teleport to the north docks via some of these boats. Actually, there is a bridge here. Maybe we can actually gain access there now. Let's see. Over there! Whoa! Hi, guys. <laughs> wow. Well, you know what? Bloody leech! Oh, that's gonna smart. Yep, that is definitely gonna smart. Come on. Oh, I got you. Sorry for the overkill. Kind of. Oh, one of the uh, holy rollers is up and about. So let's see. Finsbury Gate. District is stable. Well, that's good to know. Oh, we were going to head to Whitechapel, though, weren't we? Hold on. We can go ahead and hustle over there, I would assume. So much blood. Whoever was killed got dried out. Oh. Okay, interesting. We've got a trail. This isn't where we need to go, I don't think. Okay, I'm I'm getting distracted. For all we know, that's actually going to lead right to where we need to go for the quest. There we are. That was that shortcut I was talking about. Cool. Well, we'll check up on Nurse Crane and then we'll head back. 
Now, fortunately, I don't think we have to do these little postscripts um, with the people we've made the big decisions with. Just, uh, just once. Or we don't have to do it multiple times. We just do the one, we find out what's going on, and then we go on with our lives. And one of the feral scowls is about... And you guys just go about your business. Consider yourselves spared. And I hear coughing. That's a good sign. Well, these guys, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to, uh... Look at it! The power of the Lord commands you! Okay, holy roller. Phalanges for you, sir. Oh, he is phalange resistant. <laughs> and suddenly claws. Rude. Beg your pardon? Oh, there's probably a skull down there. Yes, there is. There's a rogue skull. Well, we may have to visit him because we are low on blood. Now, this was the... Oh, nope, that was not the way. I'm trying to remember where the... Uh, I think it was over here. This was the shortcut... Oh, it wasn't. That's actually the area that we're kind of closed off in because they didn't open it from the other side. Genius. I'll just go along this way then. Healthy Whitechapel. I'd like to think that's a job well done. Alright, here we go. Now we're in... Oh! I missed a corpse. Its effectiveness has been proven by many. Oh, there's Shun. She did make it back. Good evening, Xiao Shun. Wang Shanghao, Dr. Reed. It's good to see you again. Likewise. What are you doing with your time, now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to help the poor and sick of the neighborhood by handing out medicine. That's very charitable of you, but why do it at night? I've noticed that the most desperate people tend to go out after dark. Hence my presence, to help them when I can. Giving out medicine? How can you afford to do that? I am a rich widow, Dr. Reed. My departed husband left me enough money to last the rest of my life. I can spend some on those who don't have any. She's a nice lady. Why don't you move to a better neighborhood? I thought about it, I confess. To go back to the same empty home every day still hurts me a lot. Why stay here then? I am a woman of habit, Dr. Reed. And for now I am happier being useful in a familiar place than I would be anywhere else. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? This part of town is very fragile. I hope the trust so many people put in her will not be betrayed. How do you feel now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to follow your advice, sir. I won't forget the dead, but my efforts will be for the living. Gotta have it in balance. I've no doubt. That is a wise and useful attitude in this part of town. To be completely honest with you, I am also doing this for myself. If I am destined to survive this epidemic, I need my life to have some purpose. Do you still think about your departed husband? Of course I do. 
I'll never forget my beloved Matthew, but how do I put it? Now I miss him more than I want him back. I know what you mean. And I think it means you're getting better. Maybe death will take me the way it took Matthew. Without warning and without mercy. But until then, I live on. Fair enough, ma'am. How do you feel? Physically speaking, I mean. I'm as well as can be expected, Doctor. Goodbye for now. Good deal. So, we have her blood quality at 3,000. So this is... Okay, it's over here. If memory serves... Nope, memory did not serve. This direction. It's next to... Prince Charming. Here we go. I see blood up there. But that's normal. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Good evening, nurse. How should I address you? Dorothy? Dorothea? Miss Crane? Dorothy is all right. If you don't mind me calling you Jonathan. That's fine with me. What can I do for you then, Jonathan? Oh, first name basis. How is the sanitary situation in Whitechapel? I don't know whether you have undertaken your own patrols or examinations, but local health seems stable. How are things going in the dispensary? Things are going fine, since we made our arrangement. Do you have many patients? A few, but most of them just pass through and go back home. Especially since those vigilantes stormed the building on the night you were here. Yeah, we'll call them vig vigilantes. Have there been any more attacks by the uniformed men? No. It looks like they have found another business to extort. How are things going in the dispensary? Things are going fine, since we made oh, our arrangement. Oops. And... I hope you've stopped jeopardizing this facility with your illegal business, Dorothy. Yes, I have. Most of the time. But the blackmail money is too useful to stop it completely. I just target less dangerous people. <laughs> Who is the current victim? I would rather you did not know. You are my client, not my accomplice. Besides, I'm much more cautious since the first time you found me. Yes, indeed. One sec, guys. Okay. So... Let's actually try and get some reasoning here. Why did you blackmail Lady Ashbury? She's a generous person. You could have asked her for money directly. She killed those patients, I'm sure of that. I know you like her, but that ginger head has a taste for blood. Well, she's definitely perceptive. Do you need medical help, Dorothy? I'm a professional nurse. Rest assured, I'll ask for your help if I need it. Are you not afraid of dying? The epidemic is deadly and very contagious. I'm more afraid of being locked in a cell. I've seen what most hospitals do to the sick staff. They keep them hidden to avoid panic. Do you trust me? You forced me to resign after you caught me trying to save a dying patient. Of course I trust you. You're a blackmailer, just like me. <laughs> well, fair enough. Tell me about yourself, Dorothy. There is not much to say. My real name is Dorothea Krasunescu. I was born in Romania. And I may have been the best nurse Pembroke ever had before you fired me. Well, go ahead and twist the knife. Do you regret your time at Pembroke? I miss the energy. There was so much to do, so much to learn. Even though I was double-crossing the board, I felt I was part of something worthwhile there. 
Do you think about going back to Romania? Once the war is over and the epidemic here has been contained. Jonathan, this war will be over long before you will see any improvement in Whitechapel's sanitary situation. As she growls. Fair enough. Now what? Do you have stuff to buy. Show me what you have in stock, please. Glass vials. Sturdy blood sample. Eh. Alright. Well, we got some good postscripts. At least. Catching up with the people that we have left alive. Now we can go ahead and get back on track, I think. So what would be the how would be the fastest way to approach the docks? Yeah, we probably we haven't we can't go to the west end yet, so I assume we'd have to go back through the hospital, which I know is a little bit out of the way, but maybe we'll find a skull or something we can feed from. And this way. will give you faith again. Well, faith is one of those things that, in times like this, is very important to many people, but it can definitely be taken advantage of for monetary gain. Now, what I'm hoping to find in the North Docks is um, a hideout. Maybe we could save the game before we continue with the rest of our investigation. Now, we also do have these hunters that are... Hanging out over here. Yummy! Well, I don't know. Maybe... Oh, no, it's one of the holy guys. We... No. Negative. It's a fight I'd rather avoid. Much like kindred in the world of darkness. If there's true faith, yeah, you kind of just stay away. That's yeah, not my hill to die on. Alright, so... Actually, I... Well, no, we need to go ahead and go all the way around. Because we need to head to that... We need to head to the storyline... Um... Waypoint before we look for that one area that has the blood trail in it. Unless that leads us to our hideout, at which point I'm going to have egg on my face. But that's okay. It is what it is. So maybe... Actually, we can go onto the dock and use that ship to teleport onto and we'll at least be closer to our goal. Hello there, Clay. I think it was up here. Yeah. Hopefully, this will give us a teleportation spot. It's right across from the docks. Yes, indeed. Come on, give me something. There we are. Got some shillings, and we're somewhat close by. Let's see what happens. If we can teleport over there, we'll be in business. Use our Vampiro Vision. Looks like we may have to get up on that bridge. The Limehouse Dock. Ah, okay. I think what we can do is teleport onto this ship. Yes. Here we go. Now we're back in business. 
Now, all the things that we killed are probably still are back here now. Which is unfortunate, but... We gotta take the good with the bad. And... What leech? What are you talking about? Level 22. Uh-huh. You and your wild flailing. There we go. Aluminum powder. And we're getting close. Is it this building? Oh, yes it is. Okay. Let's loot the nearby areas and we'll see how deep the rabbit hole goes. 29 Pretty Orchard Street. This is it. What's in there for me? Lots of blood. There's been a fight here. If you want to call it a fight. Nineteen eighteen. Someone was definitely patriotic. And went right through the window. This window was shattered with violent force. Someone's been pulled through it and dragged through the street. Who could have done that? I guess this is our place now. <laughs> And this is probably going to lead where we were previously, I would assume. Or maybe not. Where does this blood trail lead? To whoever is making that lovely gurgling noise. Keep our eyes out. I cannot enter. Hmm. Yep. Get your weapons ready. We found one. Down you go. Yeah, we had jumped the gun a little bit. Oh, it's one of the holy rollers. Awesome. You're surprising. Occasionally, you make a good point. We're being misled. Or worse, we're being baited by leeches playing a nasty game. I hope that's not our mom. Hell's bells. Oh, yeah it is. It's a leech! It's a leech! Okay, well, we will, uh... We'll deal with that when the time comes. One moment, please. Ow. Twenty-six until we have to stop it. There we go. Now we're in, we're in good shape. And withdraw. Thank you. 
Okay, Jonathan, I hope you've prepared yourself. Oh, okay, never mind. That's not her, his mom. The marks on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. Yes, indeed. This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. Mary's flower. Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out. Search the pockets. Only a golden watch in her pockets. Take the watch or leave the watch. We need to take it. Nice golden watch found in the pocket of a woman killed by an identified vampire. I see you. Weird. Right then. It's a sick game. But given no choice in the matter, I might as well win it. Good call. And I bet this leads right to a safe house. Awesome. Alright guys, well, we will go ahead and end the episode here, and we will continue our pursuit of this mysterious uh, lady figure next time. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.